Hey everybody, this is Joel from Back Road Builds. Today we're going to take some time to talk about MIG welding mild steel. It's probably the most common MIG welding that's done today. It's used in anywhere from automotive restoration, fixing farm equipment, or repairs or projects around the house. The two most common types of wire you're going to see are solid wire and gasless flux cord. Now with solid wire, you're also going to be using a shielding gas, which will either be a C25 or C100. C25 gives you a better looking bead and a little less spatter, but C100 will give you a little bit more penetration. So once you have your machine set up with the proper wire, shielding gas if you need it, your polarity is correct, and you have a good work clamp on, then what you want to do is before you pull the trigger, let's get your technique right. So what you need to do is take your gun, get it up at 90 degrees away from your body, and then you're going to tilt the gun 10 to 15 degrees back of your push angle, and then you'll pull the trigger and start welding. So for this demonstration, keep in mind that I'm using solid wire and C25 shielding gas, so I'll be using the push technique while welding. Always read and follow all labels and the owner's manual. Now for your torch angle, you want to make sure you start out with your torch at 90 degrees away from you, and then about 10 to 15 degrees back. Now if your torch is too straight at 90 degrees and you don't tilt it back, you're not going to be able to see where you're welding. Also, if your torch is tilted too far back, you're going to lose your shielding gas coverage and more than likely get a very spattery weld or get porous in your weld. So the last thing we want to talk about is travel speed. Once you have your torch angle set and you have your tip to work distance set, you need the right travel speed. You want to go just fast enough to hold that weld pool and stay out in front with your wire. Now if you travel too slow, your wire is going to be more on top of the pool, your bead is going to widen out and it's going to rise up pretty high too. If you travel too fast, you're going to get a narrow bead and you won't get any penetration in your weld. This information should help you get started MIG welding mild steel. And with a little practice, you should be confident to take on any project.